ladies and gentlemen, how you all doing? This is Pod Ulrich. And I'm Ring Roo. Hello, hello, hello. And, folks, uh, we're back on this July 4th to give you a 1v1 on Orsha East. We're already getting started, so I'll waste no time. <laughs> Rang, who's, who's fighting? What are they bringing? Well, on the left-hand side in blue, we have KU2521 as Ringtown. On the right-hand side, we have Tiger as T -T -T Group Taruna. All right, so the 116th. Of course, we know them rather well from SD44 days. How do they stack up now on the eastern front, though? A bit different. Well, quite a big difference. Still not a lot of infantry, but by God, you got a lot of Panthers. It's it's Panther division now. Ooh, it's, it's, it's Panther Panthers. Group Taruni, on the other hand, much more focus on cheaper T-34-76s and a lot of infantry. Yeah, as I say, we have five Adamachikis to the south. We have Snipiris and Skrupkis coming to the center and Odemachiki opening to the north. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm surprised to not see as many Odemachiki as maybe we haven't seen from other Soviet divisions. Is that a reflection of the division overall, or what? Yeah, it's. I, I think open up with Ogmachinkis is very good. Anything that comes in a Jeep for the Soviets is really good. It allows you to get to the front line before pretty much any other vehicle. And those guys in AT rifles are very good at getting right to the front line and just getting at first engagement. And we are seeing the first engagements up north. Indeed. Uh, like you said, though, we we're already going to see a Panther A in the center and he gets that 45 mil. That 45 mil is going to have a just a, have to pray to actually pierce <laughs> anything there. So that's brilliant for that Panther. Yeah, it's going to be a rather tough nut to crack at for sure. We've got some Stroliki DPs in there. Fantastic infantry for AT rifles and lots of semi automatic rifles as well. But a C 34 blob up north is definitely the interesting part. We got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven T-34 76s. All in a conga line heading towards the enemy spawn, but there's a pack 40 in between well, him and his destination. Just in case that wasn't enough, there's three more coming into the map right now. Oh boy, that is a very interesting play. Just target them all in one area. Getting some strafing runs, but not going to do all that much damage. The IG-18 finally has a, still has a really weird looking silhouette to me, but I understand it yeah. at least. Uh, uh, but engine damage, like you said, that P that pack forty is already getting some some really solid hits. Now the funny thing about this is the ultimate cheeky, he's popping smoke like crazy. <laughs> that was a good play. That was a good play. Oh, excellent play, yeah. Yeah, and I I like how he's repositioned these T thirty fours. He's gonna be hooking him along the, the northern side. middle area, I guess. Ooh, but that's not gonna give him any kind of permission because still a pack forty on that other ridge line. Ooh. Oof. And he has no recon, so he can't he can't even re-engage his pack 40s here. And KU has a mortal half track of his own. Oh, this is a valley of death over here. Now more. Oh, jeez. Oh, he, okay, he's dropping an HE. So he's dropping an HE a little bit short, but that's okay. But yet somehow Taiga has been able to pick up a plus four over here. And again, guys, sorry about this. And of course, the replay are bugged out in terms of the VPs. Fear yep. not, I'm sure it'll return soon for the next campaign. Yep, it's just it's sort of from the previous patch, just replay. So Don't tell them our yeah. secret. I know. Trade trade secrets of, <laughs> of Rangaroon Khan cast. Not everything's exactly up to date here, but it should mostly reflect the current state of the game. Well, I think it's one of those things I think it makes perfect sense. We're fighting the battles of the past. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're always trying to keep a patch behind. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, I actually I really like this. This uh, Yog Panzer coming to the north. That's yeah. a really, really great option. Because again, if you talk about those late, let's say late war German armored vehicles, do not get penetrated by these <laughs> early wannabe 1943s. Yeah, those C-34-76s have definitely outstayed their welcome a little bit. I mean, it's it's far to the eastern front. But yeah, this is kind of it's kind of sad for Tiger because he has all these you know T thirty fours here. They're ready to push. They can push somewhere, but Kaiu has realized the ruse, and now he's just placing AT gun positions all over the place. Tiger really could use some artillery. Oh yeah, there we go. We've got some hundred and twenty millimeter mortars to help break the enemy defenses. I'm just watching this um, impromptu furball. It's a two v two, but. Not everyone's going after like uh, they're they're all flying around in a circle. This is amazing. Yeah, if, you click, if you click all their orders, they were all following each other for like ten <laughs> seconds. It's a conga line. It was yeah, beautiful. It's, it's rather interesting because it's P threes. I believe they are the, the trin yeah the trin engine mm -hmm. like fighters. So not exactly 
going to be a fast engagement, that's for sure. No, but they are very heavily armed, you know, for their weight, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. I have that turret, the 12 7. He's going to do a good amount of damage to keep that yep. Angular 9, but no, he goes down. Yeah. And this is going to be two dead? Well, it's probably a second one dead pretty easily. To the north, um, that first pack 40 is down. And KU, you know, 25 20, he's got to get on his horse here and get some, you know, actual territory. I know it's early. Mm -hmm. but he's got to do something. Yep, yep, he does, definitely needs to. I mean, unfortunately for him, once B face hits, he does get the income advantage. Right now, he's at a rather low. Income advantage over Tiger, a 50 point deficit, so to speak. But he's doing pretty good in the air. Tiger keeps bringing out his PE3s, and yeah, a little bit. Oh, he gets one kill on a Mezzas, mate. That's a good name, yes. but. Yeah, a little bit outclassed against, you know, a single engine fighter. Yeah, it's actually pretty damn good. Oh no, second one's actually getting rather close behind Devil and Alpha Mezzas, mate, but not gonna be the case. Yeah. Well, oh my gosh, can oh. you please just click an attack order? You could have saved your wingman there. There we go. There we go. There. We, okay, so that's gonna be two. That's gonna be two kills. Yeah. An engine stalling already. Looking back to the north, those 120 mils you were talking about, they are lofting shots over at that Yagpanzer. Is it smoke or fire? We're at Rossi. I'm sorry. We're, I said Rossi, but uh, <laughs> there we I, go. I said Rossi, and I was like, I missed where he started playing. You know, the last Airbender. <laughs> um, but that northern flank. Despite the fact that I think Bu twenty five twenty one has has sussed it out, he's still not really massing his units appropriately. Of course, no. as I say, that the Pack forty and the Panther are going to start turning that T thirty four conga line into just sheer devastation. Oh. It also helps that Tiger has the uh, R seven Forest under his control. Is that two EPs yes. here? Yeah, yeah, the Panther and Pack forty. I mean. Tiger really should just fall back all these, most of these T-34s, move them all around his back line and try to hit maybe the center or southern side of him. Probably center. Because right now they just, they just, they just hold in, they're fist in a barrel. That's true, but he's bringing in three more um, T-34s near the south. Yeah, he's going for an end run over here. Little does he know though, there's a Pack 40 looking right down that tree line. <laughs> KU set up with the anti-tank gun positions all over the place. I think one thing that I have to recall from the first ST is that uh, KU is a really, really solid defensive player. I just think that he takes a little bit too long to find his initial defensive line. Yeah. We're seeing Rocket Plane hitting the Yanked Panzer. Not really gonna do too much, yeah. No, but gonna get out? Do, it does allow the T-34s to get break through. Oh, there we go. But the Panther is still here. Yeah. And once the T-34s move around the road, down the road just a little bit, they're going to face some rather nasty 75mm firepower, heading their direction at a very high muzzle velocity. Look at this Pack 40 as well. Mm -hmm. Harvey wants to say that he can see behind those trees, but I don't think he's got any kind of recon optics there, so that, that might be the issue. No, yeah, Tiger, Tiger definitely likes recon at the moment, and tanks are blind, guys, who really do need recon with them to actually make them rough rile. I have a, like, second blind day one of these, at which point, somehow yeah. they're okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Right. Sorry, please, go ahead. Yes, yeah, this really all coming down to its northern flank. I mean, T-34s are stressing out the Jagdpanzer, which is, which is cool, but now there's a Panther being brought in. And that's going to be a little bit tougher. Well, not tougher to kill, I think it's the exact same armor, but the gun will definitely make it a uh, harder fight. Well, actually, I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that the IG-18s, I forget that they actually get eight uh, heat rounds now, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not not the best in terms of armor penetration, but it helps. Well, it when helps. you have those early model 43s, the 76s, before we get to the... Wait, 1942s have a heavier armor? Yeah, I... Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's the exact same tank model rise, like, if you look externally. I have no idea why... They have worse armor. I'm just guessing they had worse production material, or something along those something lines. Like it's one, one of them was welded, one of them was cast, kind of thing. <sighs> Maybe someone in the comments could kindly explain this to us. Right, right. The cases. Well, we do also the the, the cast off M fives coming up to the middle part of the map as well. Mm -hmm. That's just a brace of them. Um, but looking there, it's the IG eighteen to really worry about. Mortars are finally getting some corrected uh, volleys here and. This 
Could be a very oh wow that southern sucker punch didn't do jack. <laughs> yeah, these these German model half tracks are just absolutely deadly. And no, well, between the pack forty and otherwise as well, the pack forty still on. Yeah, the pack forty is still there. He's using all of his APCRs. Yeah. But he's destroying. He made a mockery of that entire group. Yeah, the, the Tiger. He really just needs. He needs. He needed recon <laughs> down south and more than just T thirty four spam. It's it's pretty hard to just do tank harasses unsupported now. As that 180 gun pretty much just shut everything down as the T-34s couldn't return fire. But that's what's supposed to happen. How the yeah. heck... Oh, wow. He, he, did he lose another point to the north? Is that... Now this is still 1410? Oh, it was 159. That's why. Okay. Yeah. I just yeah, but, desperately going to the north. Yes, sir. Yeah, but Tiger is doing pretty good, Joe. He's still running. Even though he's taken some pretty, pretty heavy losses so far. But he, he has the times two, plus two advantage in terms of speed, and I think he can retake his southern forest a bit, so that'll be some flags under his control again. Until we had the Panzer Shrek coming in. Oh yeah, it is a Panzer Shrek. It's going to be two Panzer Shreks, yeah. And he's, is he going to charge right through again into the AT gun? Yes, yes he, he is. is. <laughs> Maybe but, not, don't. That's the, that's the Tiger we know too. I mean, like these, these guys are both old hands from uh, the earlier... SD days, so uh, we are getting a bit of, I think, old old habits dying hard. Mm -hmm. yep. But with those T-34s, if he just keeps them in the forest, they're going to be fine. Well, until the Panzer Strike B is, is brought up at least, but he does have some effort in the cheekies. He just need to get them to support his tank, tanky French. Exactly. The tankies. Yeah. The tankies the only tankies. always help. Yeah. Thinking back to when Heart of Iron came out for the first time, and I think Jake, well, DDR Jake was playing it. All I can think is F for Trucky. <laughs> uh, it was just one mechanism, one motorized division, I think, for the, mm -hmm. for the Germans. But um, looking back to the north, yeah, a, a lot of those tanks, uh, they are no longer with us. They're yeah, no. pretty much to a man. I think we have a couple of stunned survivors back down to the south. We have a damaged 1942 to the north. Yeah, yeah. Even though Tiger is taking some pretty heavy casualties in terms of T-34s, you get a lot of T-34s, 76s in Group Tyrania. To, 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 how do you Tyrania? say it? Tyrania? I'm going go, to go, 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 call them Group T. The, the big T. With Group T, you have a lot of T-34s, 76s. Well, the important thing is it ain't, it ain't getting on no plane. <laughs> wow, mm -hmm. I didn't realize there's another another 120 mil. It's only to see all the fire just coming raining yeah. down. It's like a meteor storm from hell. Yeah, 120 mil is definitely the meta rotation mark artillery piece to take as they're really good bang for your buck. Oh, yes. Yeah, they're, they're very good bang for your buck. Uh, and also, just to go back down to the south end just to check back in, mortar half tracks have supported. It's a rather devastating attack, um, and yep, there are no more Soviet tanks to be seen. No, no, where did they all go? I mean, they must be really good magicians. But even the old Tiger is still taking just casualties. He, he, he has even more flags now. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I feel like it shouldn't be happening somehow, but yet it does. Yeah, he's got the Stuart in like the northern middle, northern middle area, or southern middle area. Two Stuart chair, and that's like two flags. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's just getting these very nice, easy victories here, as KU has some holes in his uh, undefended lines. Yeah, even if all he's pushing, it's probably better geographically for Tiger to just push through center. Is that closer range, you know, slight town, slight forest area? It's probably a bit better for his U-34s rather than the open field of the southern push or the northern field uh, push. Of just open fields. That sentence got away from me, didn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 it did, it did. But I, I, I managed to pull it back. You know? It's like you it's like you're playing like a fishing mini game in some sort of JRPG and you got to press the buttons really quickly, but you have to scratch your nose. Oh, so yeah. you have to stop pressing your buttons for two seconds. You're like, oh crap, I only got like, you know, 30% catch rate before I can get it back. Oh, yeah. No, you yeah. Know, dude, I, I felt I felt it. That was an Animal Crossing, like, yeah. right there. I, I caught that. Fucking Animal Crossing. I know, all right. Gotta get those lobsters, man. Gotta pay off that goddamn mortgage. <laughs> goddamn mortgage. Animal Crossing, otherwise known as Adult Simulator, part one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, great game. 
Great game. I like his uh, T-34 in the north middle area. He's just, he's just going for the end run along his hill. I do like his flanking position. He's probably going to get killed as, by, yeah, by the Panther, yeah. but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. He, he's, he's definitely going to die. Gotta get kind of behind in this little shot here. Yep, that'll do it. Yep. Now, the Soviet Air Force has, has suffered badly today. Yes. Actually, the Soviet Mechanized Corps has suffered badly as well. But like you said, <laughs> it doesn't seem to matter as long as they're getting more and more territory. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, he's got some Yak-9s now, but okay, KU does have a flag civilian up and running, and that's going to do some heavy damage. Rindhound does not have much anti uh It probably only has a handful of those SCKF said 7 dash runs or slash runs available. But all you really need is a handful to, you know, shoot stuff down. Well, very good right at now, stuff. it's 14-10, but he's picked up two or three points in the in the last, I don't know, what, do you, what would you say? 30 seconds? And he's given himself mm -hmm. a new lease on life. Yeah, Caillou has managed to yeah, bring him some extra time. And time is really on his side, I'd have to say. Even though he's going to lose in nine minutes, he definitely has momentum to win. Well, um, unless we... Ooh, who killed on that... Um, Yacht pants up north. Oof. Yeah. Going up just to find that out. I guess it was a mortar strike? I don't know. Maybe. Oh no. It was it this guy? Right there. Yeah, this is two in a sneaky position. And he hasn't really meant to kill many of his panthers or egg panthers, so knocking them out is definitely going to be beneficial. Certainly true. I think what I was trying to figure out, though, is that if we're looking at um, how the overall thrust is going to be, we are going to see, as we go later and later, I think a more pro AU position. I mean, groups. I mean, C, at that point, the Soviets fall back to 110. They have a plus mm -hmm. 60 in terms of resources. And um, in terms of the Eastern Front, what does the Windtown get? Panthers. It's just exactly. Panthers. It's just Panthers. Exactly. Exactly. It's just, it's becomes, just it becomes a zoo. <laughs> it becomes like the Amazon rainforest of bloody Panthers. Are. Panthers and Panthers and Tigers. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Panthers, and Panthers and Tigers. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, and actually, I forgot the. Oh wait, these these I forgot they still have the um, Pegrins with these belong to the Panzerbeesters coming on in, right? Uh, Panzergrins. Yeah, the the PZFs. Yeah, it's Panzerfaust. Yeah. Oh man, never mind. I thought it was the Panzerbeesters. Never mind. My my enthusiasm has waned. I thought that was the the Finn who has a couple of Panzerbeesters. Is that the AT rifle converted yes. into a grenade? Oh, that's Sikarums. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. That's a, that's a cool that's a cool rifle design thing. I, I like using them a lot. They're pretty useful for knocking out light armor. I am watching the southern forest push just with some minor off. Oh, the Germans are coming to the north. Those airplanes at ME109s, correct? Oh, sorry, I didn't even catch that. It was ME109s. Yeah, I think so. The 109s coming in for strafing yep. runs. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't do too much damage, which is surprising because strafing runs are usually really powerful. Well, we do have a rocket run going in after. I thought it was going to be going after that panther, but I guess not. No, he is. He's always oh, stepping into the attack after Demi 109. Yep. That's, kind, that's kind of a. Goes, he shoots. And he doesn't kill. No, bizarrely. Oh, he shot two rockets. Well, I was, I was moving and I was like, what the heck? Did he actually kill it? I thought he was going after the airplane, and then mm -hmm. you shifted a little bit more. We had a weird graphical bug there. Yeah, okay, he's got second. He's got a second one coming in now. But he's not going in for the gun run. He's he's going in for fighter support instead. And he does actually kill a Messerschmitt, huh? Oh. That's true. And well, on the ground, anti-air has apparently died. That's a the beautiful little burning pile back to the oh, western yeah. edge of the map. Yeah. Oh, that's such good. Yeah, the Soviets meant to regain air power. And they're still running. I'm quite surprised KU hasn't managed to get back much more momentum. Oh, Panther up north, he's dead. He's very dead. This is this gun? <laughs> no, 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 the AT plane. Oh, uh, It's just okay. it's dunked him from the side. I just I keep going back down to watch these this, this oh. southern push. Yeah. Um, KU is threatening a resurgence. Yeah, if KU can push past this southern hill and get into the open field of Panthers, it's a, some nice victory points that we can't see, but we can't see on the mini-map. It'd be great for him to capture, and pretty easy to hold for, for a heavy tank division. Yes, sir. Oh, the C-34s, they're going into the forest down south, they're going to get killed, sorry. 
Oh, no, it's totally fine. Um, not what... I, I don't know. Oh, no, oh, yeah, I mean, it's is, possible. Yeah. It's a very, very low percentage. Oh, yeah. yeah I guess... I got a little bit too overhyped, yeah. I completely understand it. I mean, the Kabuto Leidungs are, are strong, but just not that strong. We're back to no. 59. Okay, you, what are you doing to me, buddy? The fifth town is, is better than this, I swear. Yeah. I'm really excited to see the KD losses after this match. Oh, yeah. It's probably going to be... Oh, no, he's managed to knock out a few Panthers, but he's lost quite a few more T-34s and planes and everything else, so... It'd be interesting. I have been impressed by just the sheer amount of mortars that are on this map. Yes, yes, mortars. Mortars are really good. Mortar half tracks are great. 120 milli mortars are also really great. Ooh, that Panther, four, Panther, four, wow, the Panther four down south has a turret stuck. That's going to be a hefty, hefty. Yeah, he's and a tank destroyer. Yeah, tank destroyer without the armor. Yeah. Yes, he's gonna recapture the southern side here for Taijia or Taiga. I've probably been saying his wrong name wrong the entire time. But it's the nice thing here for for him versus Rintown as well is Rintown just get a bugger all when it comes to infantry. All very, very limited in infantry numbers. So his southern side when it comes to an attrition roll, Taija's gonna win. I do have to ask, did Mortars get a slight buff? In terms of fire rate, like the 120 mils, I mean, like, good lord, how many did it fire? I think 14 rounds a something minute. Something got buffed in terms of fire rate. I'm not, I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head. I just know mortars are really good. I've been using them, it, it, it's, especially in 1v1s. There's not really much point getting anything else apart from 120 mil mortars. Just due to how sheerly, universally fantastic they are. I, I, I can totally see that. Mm -hmm. we can, we're seeing it right now. <laughs> Indeed. Actually, just take a look at the mortar half track. And this, the mortar half track uh, for the Germans is firing 17 rounds a minute, and that's the flat. And you also got to yeah. realize they got corrected shot. Yes. And you also got to realize that KU has just surrendered. Yes, that's actually very important, despite the fact mm -hmm. that he's killed more than he's lost. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, Taijo, I'm not actually a difference in terms of the KD ratio. Yeah, only a 300 difference, but... Uh, but can... like, there was one pack 40, the northern pack 40 took out four tanks before he died. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Messerschmitts did pretty well. But other than that, no one's really punching above their weight, and that was the major issue today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taijia did a very good job of just putting pressure all over the map. He pushed up north, he pushed... Well, he didn't really push much up north, but he put pressure up north and got the 50-50 line. He pushed pressure down south, didn't really do too much in the middle. But just enough to keep KU on his toes and not really be able to deal with just the amount of stuff. And KU had the better stuff, technologically speaking. His, he had Panthers and Yagpangers and Taichu had, you know, outdated medium tanks and a few AT guns and a few AT planes. Exactly. And mortars and mortars, let's be fair. Oh yeah, exactly. A lot. Well, can't, can't forget the mortars, man. Yeah, mortar, mortars are great. Uh, definitely the mortars. Let's keep the mortars out of it. Yeah, we're gonna keep the martyrs out, you know. We're, we're don't, we don't want to start a religious cult. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Throw them upside on the cross. Oh, actually, never mind. That's. That's. We're kind of. Be nice. Be nice. Let's get off that be nice for right now. But, folks, uh, before I make a, a bit more of a faux pas there, um, uh, Rang, I think we will have some killer replays for people next week. I don't want to comment about yep. too many things out of turn. Yep, we, we'll, we'll try to keep the replays coming. All right, but in that case, folks, in the meantime, uh, for all of our American friends out there, happy Independence Day. Uh, for all of our British friends out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> and um, for everyone, and for our French friends, thank you for coming to help us. We appreciate that a great deal. But until thank you, next Lafayette. time, I am Connell Work. I'm Rangaroo. Take it easy.